Hello children, hello everybody. I hope you are keeping well and staying safe. Well, it's Mrs Turner's story time again and I think I'm on to my fourth storybook now because I've been reading them every week this term. I've chosen a lovely story today and the story is called Mad About Mini Beasts. And it's quite a long story um, and you know that we've been learning about what's in the garden and this is this is what I like to teach you if you were in the nursery about all the little insects and tiny little animals that live in our garden that we don't really see a lot of but they are living there. So I'm going to start reading the story, okay? Not to take too long today. Mad About Mavis. At the bottom of your garden, you might just hear a sound, a chirrup from the treetops or a scuttle on the ground. If you step a little closer, maybe you can see a ladybird, a dragonfly, a beetle or a bee. The sun is in the sky and it's a lovely summer's day. The mini bees have seen you and they want to come and play. Can you see all the mini bees in the picture? We're going to talk about all of them, all of these mini bees. So let's look at our first one. He is a snail. We're famous for slithering slowly, but wouldn't you also be slow if you had to carry your house on your back wherever you wanted to go? That's a snail. Try and remember what we talk about. Slug. Can you recognise those slugs? They tend to come out at night time. We're sticky. And we're slimy and we haven't any bones so we hang out under flower pots and shelter under stones. There they are look, sticky slimy slugs with their eyes on top of their antennae. Can you see them? They've got their eyes on top of their two antennae. Look. Oh, the next Mini Beast is a, can I hear you saying it? A worm. I wiggle and I wiggle down into my hole. And then when I want something scrummy, I munch a few mouthfuls of marvellous mud. Do try some, it's really quite yummy. Oh, I like that word, that alliteration, marvellous mud. Marvellous mud. Look, they love their marvellous mud. And that's what they eat. That's what worms eat, don't they? All that mud. Oh, the next mini beast is something that you know. You know this one, don't you, children? It's a spider. Spider. I love to wake up in the morning when my web is all covered with dew. It's such a fine sight when it glitters so bright. Don't you think it's beautiful too? And I'm sure if you have seen spiders' webs, especially in the morning, they do glitter and they do shine. And they're very clever, aren't they, that they can make those patterns. Very clever. That is a, you know this one, a f -f fly. My eyes are big and orange and my body's black and fuzzy and I fly around your house all day just being very buzzy. And we do, don't we? Sometimes we're in the nursery and we, the flies come in and we don't like them, do we? Because they do buzz around us. They buzz around us. Especially when we're sitting on the carpet. This mini beast is called a... B -b 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 beetle. Can you see the beetle? And it has six legs. We've got these two feelers on top of our heads, which wiggle and help us to see. And we scuttle around without making a sound. Can 
you scuttle as quickly as me? Can you scuttle like a beetle? I have to do some exercising, insect exercising next week, won't we? See if we can move like the different mini beasts. Oh, this is not my favourite mini beast. This is an earwig. Can you see how he's got those pincers on the end of his bottom? Let's see what we here has to say. I like to feed on tasty plants and trees that have gone rotten. But the weirdest thing about me is these pinchers on my bottom. And it is pretty weird, isn't it? It's pretty weird that it has these pincers on its bottom. But I suppose it helps keep, keep things away that it wants to eat, that it wants to eat the earwig. It helps him protect himself with those pincers. Look on his bottom. Stick insect. I'd rather not it be eaten, so I've got this brilliant trick. I cling to leaves and branches and pretend that I'm a stick. And it's very good look. Can you see him? He does look just like a branch, and he has six legs too. You'll find that most mini beasts have six legs. Now, you know these ones. These are our ants, our ah, 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 ants. And we learn that in our Jolly Follick song, don't we? That ah, ah, ah sound for ant. We ants like to work. As an army, which means that we do things together. Just watch how we are crazy. These leaves are our nest. You must admit, they're pretty clever. They are pretty clever. They use the leaves to make their nest. Very clever little things. And they're tiny, aren't they, ants, when you see them? Some ants are very, very tiny. Oh, now you know this little character. You should all be shouting at my screen now. Caterpillar, caterpillar. Because we've been learning a lot about the caterpillar, haven't we? I munch on the leaves in the garden. Then slowly I spin my cocoon. But now I'm asleep as I'm going to be a very beautiful butterfly soon. And that's correct. He does, doesn't he? Our caterpillars are sleeping now. They've made their cocoons. And soon I'll be taking pictures of them of when they come out of their cocoons and they turn into butterflies. I'm really excited. I love it when that happens and so do you. You'll love it too. Now we know this little ant, this little insect, ladybird. How many spots has a ladybird got? Look at my back and you'll see. I know what I've got. Well, I've got quite a lot. Why don't you count them with me? And that's right. We can always count the spots on the ladybirds, can't we? And what you count on the one side of the ladybird is the same on the other side. So we've got one, two, three spots on that side and one, two, three spots on the other side. And if you count them all together, I wonder if you can tell me how many they are. If we count on, we'll see how many spots there are all together on the ladybird. One, two, three, four, five, six. And remember children, three plus three makes six. Here is the centipede. He's a bit like a caterpillar. He's a bit, sorry, like a millipede. Hello, I'm the centipede. How do you do? I'm as friendly as friendly can be. Now, which of my hands would you most like to shake? I've got at least 30, you see. Oh, could you imagine if you had to shake all those hands? It would be rather a lot, isn't it? 30 is quite a big number now. Quite a big number for us to learn, isn't it, children? Oh, this is one of my favourite, favourite insects. Favourite little mini bees. There's nothing more brilliant than being a bee. You may think it sounds a bit funny, but you'd shout, Hooray! If you live every day in a hive full of heavenly honey. And some of you can tell me that bees make honey. And honey is lovely. We all love honey, don't we? And so they're very hard-working little insects. They don't ever stop. They go to the flowers and they sit and they take all the pollen out of the flowers and they take it back to the hive to be made into honey. And we like to eat honey, don't we? 
honey on toast or honey in our tea. Who knows what this insect is? Dragonfly. My wings are like shimmering rainbows and my body's a dazzling green. Of all of the animals here in this pond, surely I must be the queen. And I think they are. Dragonflies are very, very beautiful. If you see them hovering above a pond or a lake. And here we have the grasshopper. Can you see the grasshopper? We grasshoppers do enjoy jumping as our legs are incredibly strong. And when we're not jumping, we rub them together to make the most beautiful song. And there they are, look. They're a bit bigger than the ladybird. Can you see the ladybird on the leaf? And they have how many legs? They have six legs as well, don't they? Six legs. Oh, look, children. What time of the day now is it? What time is that? Yes, I can hear you telling me it's night time and there is the moon in the sky with the sparkling stars. And here are all the mini beasts that you saw through the story. And they're all going to sleep now. So I need to be very quiet when I read the last part of the story. Did you like those little mini beasts? What a lot there are. Flying, crawling, slithering and jumping, oh, so far. Some live by the water and some live in the air and some like living underground and finding food down there. But now let's leave the garden. We can come another time. Which beast was your favourite one? I best bet you can't guess mine. Can you remember which one I said I liked? I think I probably said I liked two of them. Night, night, mini beasts. I wonder if they're going to go to sleep now. I'm going to close the book because that is the end. Okay, that was a very long story today, children. And I hope you enjoyed learning about all the different kinds of mini beasts. Now, if you look at my teaching online, you will see I have... Done a, I've set up a mini beast challenge for you to do with your mummies and daddies or whoever you're at home with. So good luck with that and try and send me some answers on your homework page or your handout page. Take care. I'm still missing you lots and lots and lots, but just stay safe and keep, keep well with your families. Bye.